Memoirs. <sighs> Chapter one. I was born on the wrong side of the tracks in Mossman. My parents could never agree. Knox or Joey's. Hi. Hi. Um, could I get the Super Zen Food Power breakfast? Yes. What kind of toast would you like? Oh, do you still have the beetroot almond bread? Absolutely. Is that yeast free? Yes. It's gluten free? Yes. It's salt free? Yep. Almonds? Activated. Great, I have that. You've just charged me $350 for a service. You checked the batteries, right? Surely that would be the first thing you would check on a battery car. No, I haven't been through a river. If I had driven through a river... Tow to you, yeah? And then, um... That's, that's in two weeks, man. I would expect I can get my battery bloody changed before the new moon. Hello? Hello? Did you, did you hang up? Um, flat battery. Okay, okay. Thank you! Look, mate. Things are pretty dire in case you hadn't noticed. The caucus has shattered. People are talking about walking if you're still here next year. And every single financial forecaster is saying we're diving headfirst into the most deadly recession in 60 years. And you're ignoring everyone. No one can get through to you. You're the fucking treasurer! You are such a long way from being ready to do this job that I tell you what, mate, our pact is seriously in doubt. You will pick a date. And you will stand down. Or I promise you, I won't be here another second plugging up your mistakes in this arse into the world. What did you just say? What? did you just say? Is that what you think of the country you hope to run? This is bullshit. I just want one thing from you. To keep your word. That's it. Because if you stay in this town, you're a dead man. Now I've got a reputation here too, you know, and it ain't helped by having your fair face around, reminding people of stuff they rather forget. You understand me? <laughs> I'd like to talk a little bit about language. Absolutely. And this one to Mike Smith. What did the two of you mean when you referred to a piece of tasty brisket? That referred to a piece of information Mike uncovered working on a documentary for the Germans. A piece of information against the president? I think specifically it referred to Bush losing his nerve while flying. Which you did not mention in the report you aired on 60 Minutes. I didn't think we had it nailed down. Hmm. Would it be accurate to say you were looking for anything negative about the president? I'd say it was accurate that we were looking for any information on his time in the Air National Guard that had not yet come to light. And that's what made it tasty, not because it reflected poorly on the president. It was tasty because it had the potential to be newsworthy. Hmm. I also wanted to ask you about this email from Roger Charles, where he says he feels better about the documents mm -hmm. because of their formatting. Colonel Charles originally thought the documents were fake? I don't believe so. Then, then, then why would he say he feels better? Because it seemed that what our source was telling us was true. I have to disagree. Even the subject line in the email is, I feel better, um, with the three exclamation points. It seems Colonel Charles initially had doubts. Me and Daddy. Buchanan residence? May I speak to Mrs. Buchanan? It's Mr. Carraway, her cousin. Madame is not available, Mr. Carraway. If you speak to her, tell her the funeral's tomorrow. I'm sorry, Monsieur. They have gone away. Gone away? Do you know when they'll be back? No. They have already departed. Please, I know that she would want to be there, she would... If you would just get a message to her, let me talk to her, please. You wish to contact her? I have no further information, monsieur. Please! Au revoir. 
Right, so we want to do something really new and fresh. You know? Yeah, so what's the plot? Okay, so like, there's this, there's this pizza guy, and he comes to this woman's house, and he's got a pizza. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, this woman, she doesn't have enough money to pay for the pizza. Yeah, so they have to come to some sort of arrangement. That is awesome. Man, that's really different. And it's, it's, a... it's about their relationship. I mean, I don't know, does a high-powered CEO really dress like that? How about now? Wizard, you make me look so great, man.